One of the interesting features in ExoPlan is that you can link it to ExoCAD software, which is a software responsible for designing uh, the restoration. So let's start. Now I have my case. It's the case I started at the very beginning of the single maxillary implant. I have my case and the implant is planned. Uh, everything is okay, sleeve adjusted, and I'm now going either to design a guide or I'm done. Of course, I'll design a guide, but if you click I'm done and you click next, you will have it saved on your uh, project. So now what I need to do is just uh, go to the Open File Explorer to locate the folder. Okay, and just go one folder back take this folder and copy it and keep it uh, in a safe place or just copy it okay this is one method if you have an exocad copy it and place it in the database for the exocad uh, if your lab uh, has an exocad and wants to integrate with you uh, in the uh, restoration you can go through the dental share so either if you're not going to fabricate the restoration yourself, you can use dental share or you can copy the project, send it to the lab or put it in the database of, of, for, uh, of ExoCAD software. I will show you how. So now you need to have a copy and we'll paste it in the uh, ExoCAD database, the one like this one, but for ExoCAD. Now go to, to your desktop and you have the EXO and the uh, CAD uh, icons. Go to the CAD icon, right click and open file location. Or if you know uh, where the database is, just go to the database. Okay, you can just uh, select the CAD data and open. I'll show you in a bigger uh, icon and paste your project folder. Now your project folder will be located in the ExoCAD, not ExoPlan now, it's ExoCAD uh, platform or software in the database. And now after uh, finishing uh, the paste, go to the ExoCAD software, open the database module now, okay. And from there start to go to load a case, go to load, and you can go to ExoCAD project to load an ExoCAD project and search for the name of the folder of your project and you will find the file that is necessary to import, click it, if you want to modify the name and so on, okay, and you will have the project on ExoCAD. The next step is go to designing the restoration and you will find your project as if you're going to start uh, the restoration. Of course, import the planning information. Remember, we chose uh, decide later uh, about the restoration. So we'll choose either a custom abutment screw retained or multi unit. I will choose a screw retained. I will uh, select the, my tie base uh, or my models or my uh, platform, cuff height, and so on, and just click next. And now we can start designing the restoration based on the position of the implant. As you can see, now we start, we are starting uh, a simple ExoCAD project uh, as if you have registered the scan body without using a scan body. And click next, and from there we can go on and on to design a restoration. I will not go through designing a restoration through ExoCAD, because this needs another course, it's a huge topic, but, for, but now you know how to link ExoPlan to your ExoCAD and start doing immediate load restoration.